Lokarna computes an alignment, that is, a comparison between a set of RNA molecules. In this comparison, not only the sequences, but also the structures of the RNAs are taken into account. Such a structural comparison is difficult to perform, since each RNA sequence has many potential structures that it can form. Locarna takes all those potential structures into account and identifies the one structure that fits best to all compared RNA sequences simultaneously. By this, both the similarities and also the differences of the RNA molecules, for example missing parts, become visible. One thing that makes the comparison of RNA molecules particularly hard is that, well, you don't have just one fixed structure that you have to compare, but you have always many potential structures and you're never sure what structure is really the one the molecule forms or currently forms. So what we therefore have built in in Locarna is a probability model that allows us to consider all potential structures simultaneously according to their probability. Here you can see now the Freiburg RNA Tools web server where you can try Locarna directly online. And I want to show you now how easy it is really to, to use Locarna via this web server. The server is available under rna.informatic.uni-freiburg.de. And I already prepared here a bunch of sequences in this text file. Uh, by the way, the last two sequences were exactly the two that we've seen uh, in the animation, in this uh, introduction at the beginning. So I now just copy all of them by clicking Ctrl C and then just paste them here into this field. You can see they are now all in here. And now I just choose whether I want to have a global or a local alignment. And local alignment would mean that I expect that the sequences are different, or are really maybe co completely different, but have certain parts that are similar. So local means to identify only certain identical parts, while global, what we do now, means to compare the entire sequences. There also exist some advanced options that influence the scoring of the alignment, but uh, I'm not going into the details of this now, but instead directly click on the Go button to compute the alignment. So here we now have our result page where the output is still processed. Now it is ready and you can see now uh, the alignment of these six RNA sequences here in this image. And below this you can also see the consensus structure. So this is the structure that all these six RNAs most likely form together. So given that they all have a similar shape, the most likely shape they all can fold in is this one. And here the alignment you can see is nicely color coded. So these different colored areas are structurally conserved areas. Um, and also here at the very bottom you have the alignment again in text form that you can cut and paste it for example. Okay, of course you can also download these files, this alignment and the consensus structure. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this tutorial. I hope it was useful for you um, and yeah, have a good day.